the last episode of the Frank Fed Creamer, we managed to make the signing of uh, promising youngster Yusufu Mukoko and also finished first place in a very tough Europa League group and managed to proceed to the round of, uh, I mean, quarterfinals of the DFP Pokal and Kevin Trapp won play at episode. Welcome to episode 5 of the Iron Track Frankfurt. In today's episode, we'll be mostly playing uh, knockout games. We have this game against Werder Bremen in the quarterfinals of the German Cup. Also, we do have Bayern Munich, so I'll play this game, and majority of the episode will be the knockout games of the Europa League. Yeah, I'll see you guys um, the game against Werder Bremen. I've also promoted this youth academy player Carlson. Um, he looks decent. I think he's more suited to center back position. Let me see. Yeah, he does get a plus one as a center back. I'll just keep him around, you know, um, in case um, whenever center backs get injured. Our first game at the episode is going to be against Bremen, Werder Bremen, the second tier side in the quarterfinals of the DFP Pokal. Hopefully we can uh, proceed to the semifinals without any hassles as we get the first goal of the game here. Nice slick pass from uh, Kostic to find uh, Deichi Kamara and he makes a 1-0 in the 5th minute raid as we kept trying on the same move again and this time Deichi Kamara again in the same spot takes a shot but is saved by the goalkeeper this time by Valenka, the Czech goalkeeper. I wonder why he didn't sign with uh, any Bundesliga team. He's, he was one of the best goalkeepers as we could see the goal in the 20th minute. Really unlucky goal, but uh, it's credited to Marvin just there as we kept on trying the same move again. This time Daichi took his lesson and top corner. Goalkeeper can't do anything. We managed to lead 2-1 here in the 27th minute and a brace for Daichi Kamara as we kept on getting balls inside the box. Brother Mernin happy to sit back and let us take shots and that was a really nice chance there from uh, Julian Vago but it didn't hit the target as we were, we were a little bit relaxed there uh, coming from the half and that leads to us considered going again it's by Marvin Dutcha the number seven there as we managed to get another overhead top here Yusufu Mukoko got really unlucky with this ball um, goalkeeper kept outside and he managed to run faster than him as we kept on, um, I kept. They kept on trying to get in the same chances again. It was just a big. Uh, it was just a bit of a back and forth at this point. They were taking shot at us and we were just going back again and taking shot at them. And it wasn't really much between the teams. But as we uh, scored a goal here this time, um, I don't think it was a goal yet. But I tried going for that goal. But you know, the narrow, the angle was very narrow. But you know, I had to give it a try. But talk about this goal from um, Daichi Kamara. He misheaded the ball or something. I don't know, but. He managed to pick it up uh, and put it in the back of the net and that will be a hat-trick for Daichi Kamara and we're through to the semi-finals of the German Super Cup. Cup I mean. In this game against uh, Stuttgart, hopefully we can get a win. And we managed to get a draw and Dolbeck managed to get a... Yeah, Dolbeck managed to get a brace and Daichi Kamara continuing his scoring performance, getting another goal here. I uh, will also be quick in this game against uh, Fulsburg. Let's see if we can get a win. If we get a win, that will take us up to, uh, you know what, never mind. We managed to take another L here. Mm. Interesting. Krosa managed to score two goals, and for us, it's Hager scoring a, a goal. We need to get a win this game against FC Cologne. Our chance of getting a European football is in jeopardy if we don't get a win in here. So I'm hoping for a win. That's how the team is looking. Please, EA, bless me. We do. We managed to get a win, and... Kamada managed to score a goal and it's cash for Dolbeck. Thank you, EA. Guys, I'm feeling a bit desperate. I need I need someone to play in the center mid position. So I might I'll recall this guy, Dominic Kerr. Yeah, I'll recall him. I'ma play him in center mid because we really need someone there. Can he play there? Please to Oh my god. What's up with like this saying they can't play center back, but I mean center mid, but it literally says he can play center mid there. EA, fix your game. Please, uh, let's work on his passing, I guess, yeah. So yeah, I'll be playing this guy, we called him from loan. Hopefully, he becomes good for us. Here we go, our next game at the episode is going to be against Bayern München, who unfortunately, I mean, unluckily, they're currently sitting in like third place, so it's not a good season from them, but to be honest, I know they'll just pull the title back at the end of the season, but they did get the first chance of the game, it was a nice save by Kevin Trapp, I can't remember if Kevin Trapp played for Bayern or PSG, he played one of those teams, but we do score a really beautiful goal here, nice header from uh, Daichi Kamara here, jumping over the center back to head the ball back of the net, and we do make it 1-0, but Bayern immediately responded in a Bayern fashion this time it's Lewandowski getting them the equalizer in the 19th minute but after that on we just collapsed both defensively and offensively and 
Bayern will take advantage of us and they make it 2-1 in the 37th minute but we really got lucky here I thought this should have been a goal here but nice uh, save from uh, uh, Evan Indica to clear it off the line but at this point on Bayern were just having like 90 uh, 90 possession at the ball so we didn't really have chances but one of the chances we got with this game was by uh, Burkhoek uh, with terrible miss from him he should have been scoring there but terrible composure from Burkhoek and that's how the game is going to end Bayern did unfortunately get a good chance there but um, saved by Kevin Trapp. Unfortunately, it was by um, Jamie Fardy. That's really interesting, but we picked up a draw in this game against Hertha Berlin. Um, we haven't got a win in our last... I can't even remember the last time we got a win, but thankfully, we do get another win. Uh, Dolbeck and uh, Daichi Kamara. It looked like both of them have been scoring for the last couple of games, so it's good to see them score again. But yeah, we've all been waiting for Europa League action. We have managed to uh, match Lille. The French side in the round of 16, you know, we got lucky there. West Ham and Sport and CB, uh, PSV and Leicester City, Leipzig and Lazio, you know, some decent matches. Uh, Liverpool and Leverkusen, yeah. So, yeah, we do have some tough fixtures ahead of us. So, let's see if we can get the win, both legs against Lille. So, I'm not going to underestimate them. They have really good teams. So, I'll see you guys at the game against Lille. Here we go. Round of 16 of the Europa League against... Uh, Lille defense side uh, have really good talented players. I don't know how Renato Sanchez is not playing for Liverpool I think he's been linked with Liverpool a lot, but who knows where he goes, but um, Lille did start a strong here getting chances But is equal to it by Kevin Trapp there, but I'm happy with them getting chances especially on the right hand side That's where we, they mainly attacked, but this time is defended really well by Jan Peter Hagua And he managed to keep uh, Jonathan Iconia off of that side, but we do manage to concede a Unfortunate goal there by Burg Yilmaz. The ball hitting the post and coming back to the rebound, he makes it 1 0. But in the second half, you managed to get the equalizing goal we needed so badly. And this time, it's Kasper Dolbeck finally getting some confidence, finally with goal, and he makes it 1 1 in the 65th minute. But Lille were not backing down as they try to get a good chance here. But luckily, we have one of the best goalkeeper in Kevin Trapp. And trust me, if I didn't have Kevin Trapp, I'd, I could have conceded maybe triple the goals we conceded in this episode. But that's what tells you having a, a good goalkeeper is really important in FIFA Kareem, especially. Um, in the Champions League and those games where they can cl uh, come clutch but as you can see Jonathan David got a really good chance there but unfortunately he hit the net uh, and this time we do get the goal we left it late but it's the substitute Mukoko scoring in the 90th minute and hopefully we are true to the second round this Kasper is back I mean Jasper Lindstrom is back after his injury so you know what I'm putting him straight in here Berko can hold the bench for now we got this game against Bochum. They currently sit in 18th place, so I think the last place. So, um, I'll be quick simming, but also, uh, let me bring on. Uh, I forgot to bring on. Yeah, let's. I'll rest some of the teams, uh, some of the players, because we have uh, the second leg of the Lille game. So yeah, um, bring on Ristich. Maybe call for center back, and also a youth academy player. Yeah, I think this team should get it done. If you know what, also Chandler. Timmy Chandler too can start ahead of Tuta. Let's see if we can get the job done against Bukum. Hopefully, no, no, we managed to get a draw. You know what, Mukoko with the brace there. Really good from him. Here we go, second leg against Lille. I'm not saying we're true to the next round, but... You know, we got to keep a clean sheet here to maybe see us through to the next round. But it's going to be hard um, keeping uh, Jonathan David away from scoring. But, you know, when you have uh, trusty hands like Kevin Trapp, it's not that difficult. But we did get a free kick in the 44th minute right before halftime. I tried going in for the dip in shot, but it didn't work out this time. But trust me, I will score a free kick goal in this series. Some way, some form with uh, Philip Kostic. But we did get a few chances here and there. But terrible, uh, terrible composure from our attackers there but Daichi should have scored there that hit in the post there and we also did pick up a penalty in the 63rd minute I gave it to um Daichi Kamara and it was so hypocritical of me saying that this this FIFA you should you guys should go to the middle and then I just went in and just went to the top corner and you know it is what it is I don't care you know sometimes you score sometimes you don't miss you know what they say you miss 100% of the shots you don't take I don't know if that's true but someone can fact check me but 
we did keep clean sheet and we're through to the next round hopefully against easy side but we'll have to find out next episode for the last game of the episode i'll be quick sim in this game against rb leipzig but i will make some changes here i'll bring on jesper lindstrom uh take off parker he hasn't had a great episode so far but I also want to play Yusuf from Koko. He's been a great form, um, so I'll keep him and hopefully we can get a win. We do manage to get a win here, two one win. Yusuf Paulson is scoring for them in the 85th minute, a consolation goal, but two to death score for us and also um, I can't remember. Yeah, it was Yusuf from Koko. Again, this guy is an absolute beast. I'm pretty sure we will take over Kasper Dolbeck as our top striker by the end of the series. Mark my words. The episode for this episode, episode five, is going to be um. Daichi, Daichi Kamara, um, yeah, there's no other person, maybe, trap, never mind, you know, Daichi Kamara picks up play at the episode for this episode, and also, Mukoko has been great in this episode, so yeah, next episode, I can see him picking up play at the episode, potentially, but, if you made it this far into the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next episode.